a 139-pound open division bout in the red corner from Brooklyn, New York, Gene Martin. In the blue corner, from Augusta, Georgia, Denise Lutrick. And your referee, Joel Sanchez. So we're set to go in the 139-pound division. That is 31-year-old Denise Lutrick, a delightful woman who captivated uh, everybody surrounding this tournament last year, won a title, and she talked to us about the excitement of being a champion. It was a dream come true. I've always been athletic. I've played soccer, I've, um, basketball, volleyball, I've just anything I could get my hands on, I would, you know, join and play. And, and I've always watched television and seen athletes get to that level and just wish it, I could be there so you know as a, I, I just it, it kind of blew me away um, it was everything I thought it would be so there is Denise Lutrick hoping she can defend that title and she has a very tough customer to contend with in the red corner Gene Martin who comes into this bout overall a 6-0 and record she has won three times in this competition. She's an aggressive fighter just like Lutrick, and boy, she comes out wailing, Dave. They go out with Denise Lutrick, said a little bit more of a stylist. Uh-huh. Yeah. Lutrick has a great left hook, and Martin has a terrific right hand, and she drives Denise Lutrick off her, and that's hard to do. Wow. Good right hand by Lutrick to the body. Both with credentials. Lutrick with the title last year, and Martin fighting in front of 4,000 people at Madison Square Garden to win a Golden Gloves title before coming in here. Lutrick is a New York City detective who got into boxing and really enjoys it. She's having her way now against these Lutrick power punches. Denise Lutrick, who won last year, really enjoyed that tournament in many, many ways. She met her current coach, Tom Marites, at that tournament. Oh, wow, good right hand by Gene Martin. And we'll finish up the Tom Marites story as we head into the break between these rounds. But there is a standing eight count. Denise Lutrick with power punching against Gene Martin. Now you just can't beat this for excitement. Toe-to-toe to toe from the opening bell, both boxers wailing. Everybody felt going in this might be the most exciting matchup, and boy, it has been that. Good hooks by Lutrick, but she takes a huge right hand. They are both throwing home run balls. Pitches with every punch. Two human highlight reels. Yeah, really. Seconds remaining in a tremendous round one. Denise Lutra goes back to the corner of Tom Marides, her trainer, who, by the way, also happens to be her fiance. Let's listen in. You hear me? She's all yours. All right? Keep your slipping going. You understand me? Keep your slipping going. I got her. All right? I got her. Listen, I want your leverage. When you're inside your right foot, you're squaring up a little bit. Okay? Keep your right foot behind you. All right, you can work them body shots now, okay? All right, you can work them body shots, you hear me? All right, but keep one hand up at a time, all right? When you get inside, bring some shots up the middle. I got it. All right? As we said, Tom Marides, her trainer, is now her fiance. They met last year at the tournament. They got to know each other. They started dating. She now lives in Augusta, Georgia, where he lives, and they are going to be married very shortly. And they're going to have a boxing theme for the wedding also. And in the, the red corner, Denise, in the blue corner, it's Tom. Everything is going. And speaking of red and blue, here is Denise Lutrick in an utterly exhilarating round with Gene Martin. So she heads into round two after a war with Gene Martin in round one. But amazingly, I got to say amazingly, Denise Lutrick's ahead 15 to 1 in the computer scoring. Now that astonishes me. While she might well be ahead, 15 to 1 seems absurd. There is just no way. This should be more like 15-15. They went at it, and tremendous bombs on, on both sides. And I might go for Denise being ahead in this bout by a little bit, though. That's just too big a margin, especially with the pressure Martin put on her. Yeah, they, Tom and uh, Denise will be married on June 20th. 
And uh, as Dave said, it's being billed as a boxing match. Wow, good left hand, and that hurts G. Martin. She'll get a standing eight count. We've seen more punchers in this edition of the tournament. Denise Lutrick got great advice from Tom in the corner. He said, don't square up and put leverage into your punches. And that's what she's doing. She's getting leverage in that left hook. Still, though, Martin punching back and punching hard. What's this all about? He's not stopping the box. Oh, my goodness. Man, no. Wow. Well, it's amateurs and all that, but still, it is shocking at this juncture to see this bout stop. But for Denise Lutrick, it yeah. is a win yeah. as referee yeah. Joe Sanchez steps in to call yeah. a halt to the bout. Yeah. And she has defended her title. Good sportsmanship by Gene Martin. But Dave, I have to imagine they would have given Gene Martin, who was punching back and landing big shots, a chance to continue. And especially at this level, as you get into more significant contests and national championships, there has to be a little bit of latitude with that. Let boxers who have earned their way get that little extra time and see if they can turn it around. The end of the fight looks like a lot of it with both going back and forth. Tremendous uppercut by Lutrick, the right hand by Lutrick, Martin coming back. Martin's throwing a punch as the bout ends. The interesting thing is Sanchez stops the bout right when she lands a big right hand, even though Lutrick had landed well. And they're going back and forth. You have to appreciate the pace of a bout and let it go. It's a good shot there as, uh, as she's being counted out. That's just one of these times it should not have applied there. In this 139-pound open division bout, the referee stops the contest. The winner in the blue corner, Denise Lutrick, Augusta, Georgia. So Denise Lutrick, who will soon be celebrating her nuptials as well, to that man, Tom Marides, gets a very, very impressive win over Gene Martin and defends her amateur title. Up in the ring with the happy winner, Denise Lutrick, is our happy winner, Dave Bontempo. Al, the gun is still smoking. Denise, that was an exhilarating fight to watch. Is this the most uh, non-stop action bout you've ever been in? Yeah, it, uh, it really is like a culmination of all I've trained for and all I've worked for, and it just poured out on this in this ring. It, just, it felt so good. Everything came together, everything. Uh, how do you win a bout like this when it's like rock'em, sock'em robots here? How do you win? <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was the strategy for you when you're just going like well, that? Um, I knew I just had a... Keep moving, slipping. I've been learning a lot of slipping and, and a lot of combinations. Throw a couple uh, punches and, and move. Throw a couple, throw a combination and move. And I, I just knew I had to keep doing that so she could miss me and I'd keep coming, using my leverage to come back and get her. What did you learn from last year's tournament and what's happened in the last year that you carried in here? Wow. Well, I made a big move. I, I changed coaches and moved to a different area and, and all that came together. Everything for the past and, and this past year and my new my new coach and future husband Tom Wright is just, I learned so much about boxing. Olympic style boxing. That's what I've really been focusing on. Now what about the wedding here? June twentieth. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll put my money on Denise. Back to you, Al. Uh, happy Denise Lutrick, and yeah, she will be getting ready to nuptial. And there's the man she will marry. Tom Arides, who, by the way, has made some history because he not only has a women's national champion, but also a men's national amateur champion in Jacob Hudson, a terrific boxer from the Augusta the area. So this man has made some history. So that'll do it for all of us here at the Women's Amateur National Championships from the Arrowhead Pond, where we saw some terrific action, great improvement on all levels by these women, and some terrific boxing action. For Dave Bontemple, I'm Al Bernstein. Glad that you joined us.